So you clicked on the link because you are in the field of education and you are thinking about getting a career in real estate. Well, Lori and I both were there and we can walk you through our journey and the pros and cons of becoming a real estate agent or making that transition from education to a real estate career. So it's Lori and Kayleen with Just Finest Agents, your second career real estate agents. And we are putting on a ton of new content. And so we really specialize in whether you are a new agent or whether this is your second career, what that looks like to make that change. And we're gonna go through logistics of how we did that and how we were successful at growing our business and making it in the second career, a career of our dream. So make sure that subscribe button or that bell as we go over a ton of new content this year. Also make sure to give us a call if you have any questions. We'd love to help you make that change. We actually even help pay for your classes if you need that. So give us a call, 719-639-3393 with any questions on becoming an agent in real estate. So today we are talking about what it looks like to become a teacher or being a teacher and becoming a real estate agent. So Lori and I both worked in the education field. She was a counselor and I was on the admin side of working at the school. And though we loved for that moment in our lives working for the schools, and if you do, that is fantastic. We both came to a point where we were just kind of a little burnt out and wanted something different. And we both had a passion for homes, design, and real estate in particular. Yeah. Little did we know that we would love we would our love new it. jobs. I know. So Let much. me give us a little caveat though. It's like we, I respect teachers, my, my, all my kiddos, I, God Your bless you. In. My husband's in education. I was in education for almost 15 years. Um, absolutely, you know, respect the profession and it is an amazing profession to go into. But if you are thinking, you know, I just, we just got to that point, like Kayleen said, where I was, I don't know. How many hours I are wanted, left in the day? Yeah, and like I, the thing that always gets me on education, I have this conversation with my husband all the time. Is yeah, you know, you do well in education, and what do they ask? They ask you to do this more and more and more work for the same amount of pay. Um, which I get, you know, teachers are a godsend, and you know, we don't always work just for our paycheck, but at the same time, um, you know, it's. It's, it's natural nice to, have. to have some money that goes along with your hard work and some reward that goes along with your hard work as far as being able to support your family. Well, Lori and I, we worked in the same department together and we really, that last year that we worked together in the school district, we had gone above and beyond, like created content for kids that were, you know, she was a counselor and I was her admin and we had done a lot of online stuff for the kids really reached them where we were at and we were like hey we're pretty good at this yeah. like we made it more fun for the kids and then at the end of the day everybody was like good job yep. <laughs> now is it now, here's some more work we'd like you to do this Wait, now, now this we want program. you to take this on and yeah. this one and we were like all right we didn't mean it for that we just you know liked what we were doing and then it became a little overwhelming with where what they wanted us to do at no extra pay. Right. So. so we're going to break down, you know, five things to consider when thinking of becoming a real estate agent as a teacher. And the first one, you know, obviously is your time. And so, you know, yeah. you, it's a very different profession. So we each have three kids. Kayleen has three kids and I have three kids. They are a little bit older, um, but we don't work from eight to five. Um, you know, it's now our kids are in school. Thank goodness. It was our first day back. <laughs> oh, we were like, oh my gosh. I was just telling Kayleen, like I used to get sad like the first day of school, just thinking how old they were. And like today, um, you know, kind of I don't know, not after COVID, but we're going back to school full time. We were very right now. Thankful. I was like, see you later. <laughs> we'll see you at three. But you know, that's, we've talked to some other, you know, people who thought about getting into real estate and they're like, I love going into work at 7.30 and getting done at 3.30. Um, I know as a teacher, you work more hours as far as like grading. Trust me, my husband comes home or he now is an admin, but he used to, you know, work in the, actually in the classroom. And I know your hours go above and beyond that. Mm -hmm. um, but in real estate, really, there is no set hours which could be a pro and a con depending upon you know where you're at well um and that's the thing I guess 
we're going through five things, yeah. but it really, your time can be broken out into so many um, different categories. And the time that Lori is talking about, like 7.30 to 3.30, I have to say, we're working all the time. We aren't necessarily off at 3.30, neither are teachers, but we can get so much done because we're at home as well. Yeah. Like I can throw in my laundry, I can throw on my dinner, whatnot, in between phone calls, um, but if you like, they'll schedule, like I don't have three months off in the summer or two months off in yeah. the summer. Like we do, we work through the whole thing. We try to make it a little bit less in the summer since our kiddos are home, but, um, you know, you can kind of set your boundaries, but for the most part, when you know, when you have a million dollar client call you, um, and you know, that's, you know, $25,000, you are going to go show that house. I mean, you can set your parameters a little bit, but there is not that set time frame of that. You are know that you are working and not working. Yeah. So that was one thing that, um, you know, that's. The, uh, one of our first points. The second point is um, flexibility. Um, yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah, about. flexibility is a good one. I I just keep thinking like when I worked at the schools and I was like, oh, at my lunch I just want to run and I have to drop this off at the post office because by the time I get off and out the building and whatnot, um, you know, there's a line. Well, at the school, like at the school we worked at. Um, when we worked together, I worked at a couple different school buildings, but the last one, they didn't even allow us to leave at lunch. And really, we didn't no, have like, enough time. Out. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. And um, so I felt like even though I did get off at 3.30, by the time I fit in all of my other things that I had to do as a wife and as a mom, there was not enough hours in the day. And so the flexibility of being your own boss and working real estate, I feel like you can fit more into your day because you have the flexibility. You aren't being told that you can't leave the building. <laughs> yeah, you can come and go as yeah. you can please and you know, whatever you need to get done, go to the you're grocery your own store boss. and you're your own boss, which I love. Yeah. Um, I would never go back. Um, I was, you know, at education blessed me for many years and it was great when mm -hmm. my kids you know, or a certain age it was. or when I was starting I was very out, thankful. but, um, you know, I, there's not a day I look back and I'm like, gosh, I wish I wouldn't have made that move. Um, you know, the third point that we want to talk about is the money. Um, you know, in education, you get a salary. Is it a lot? No. Um, but it is something that's stable. Um, and it's something that, you know, you can pretty much rely on, um, in educate or in real estate. That's not really the case. However, you can sell a third of a house <laughs> and make your income. Um, and so, that part has just blessed my family and I, again, is, you mm -hmm. know, not that it's all about the money, but, you know, just being able to not have to, you know, live paycheck to paycheck. Well, and teachers are very good about goal setting. Um, you know, I think most teachers that like you have certain things you have to instruct and yeah. different things you have to do. It's kind of the same thing with real estate. Like when I was transitioning um, from working in real estate, to our from working in the school to real estate i had a mining goal to i had to cover my salary from what i was making at school like lori said it wasn't <laughs> too much of a goal i little did i know how easy it was gonna mm -hmm. be like we sold um 13 houses in our first year and i tripled my salary from working at the school right. and so at by the second year because at first we were doing both jobs you know we would get up at 5 30 in the morning do real Especially estate paperwork classes, yeah go to school um, and work our day jobs, 7.30 to 3.30, get off work, go show houses. The nice thing is you can totally do that and set yourself up. Be prepared, yeah. um, you know, depending on what your goal is. Mine was just to cover my salary from the school and it happened within one year. Right. Now, I, if you have questions, you know, reach out. I did, I did, you know, we have a lot of um, agents who ask us, can you do both? And you can. Okay. Um, ideally, it's a lot of work. Um, I put in a lot of it's hours. a lot of juggling. Um, I worked full time for a year and a half afterwards and then I worked one year part time. And now, uh, you know, obviously I'm a full time real estate agent. Uh, wouldn't look back, but it is a lot of juggling. Um, but if you need that transition, you know, between working full time, especially if you're a single mom or single dad, or you, um, you know, you don't have a husband who can cover your entire salary and you rely on that and you need to just give yourself that flexibility to work yourself in. Real estate is a great career to work, you know, at nights during the summer, it does go, we're lucky we had each other, but it gets a little tricky, but definitely doable. And if you have questions about what that looks like, you know, reach out. Well, and I was going to say it's very, um, very much so a question 
you know, whatever your goal is really depends on where you're at and what you need for your comfort level. And so there's a lot of moving parts, but if you know what that looks like to you, mm -hmm. Lori and I can help you. You know, if you know you want to sell so many homes, you need to produce so much of an income, we can put that into steps for you to get you there and on usually a pretty quick path to help you meet your goals. Right. And I would say the fourth point we're going to talk about is, you know, the retirement and the medical coverage. I think those yeah. are big things that, you know, as a teacher, you have access to those, although we pay out the yin yang for, um, <laughs> yeah. uh, for healthcare coverage, you know, we're a thousand dollars a month for all of it for my whole family of five, yep. you know, plus we have deductibles. So it's not like it's like free or cheap. Um, I know every district is a little bit different, but, um, you know, there are real estate companies out there. We're with EXP. If you have questions about that, let us know. But EXP has a healthcare program and yep. there's people we can put you in contact with who could give you like an estimate of what that looks like, especially if you have a family or kids um, and you want and need that healthcare coverage, even with the pre-existing conditions. And so that is available. Mm -hmm. um, I know that's sometimes someone gets a little hesitant about making that jump anytime you're going into a you know, self-employed um, career. Well, and that's what, when um, I got into working for the school district, my husband was self-employed at the time and we had some pre-existing babies at the yeah. time and mm -hmm. health benefits were a huge draw to why I wanted to work at the school because somebody in our family needed to do that and he did well being self-employed. And so my job was to take care of that. Little did I know it took like half my paycheck <laughs> to pay for those benefits, but it's what my family needed at the time. And since then we've moved on. And when we found EXP, I said, that's like huge. The fact that you can be self-employed and still have access to a group policy and something, you know, in those times of need. And if you have pre-existing, like Lori said, you can be covered still. Mm -hmm. We also have stock options that we can earn with our company. Mm -hmm. um, and so it kind of, you know, belonging to EXP kind of tackled a lot of those concerns that I said were was huge for um, why people don't go into being self-employed because they're, right. they're a risk. And then we talk about retirement. So here in Colorado, we have para. Um, yeah. And so it's like my husband will get, you know, 80, 90% of his salary if he's in for 30 years. And so that is something that you do have to kind of um, navigate, whether you've been in education, you know, talk to your local organization to see, you know, if you get out at 10 years, if you get out at, um, uh, 30 years or 20 years, if it's your, maybe it's your retirement career as being a real estate agent, you know, what does retirement look like? And you have to be a little more proactive on making sure that you are set up conforming your own retirement, uh, 403Bs or 401Ks. And um, a lot of agents will get into investment to start mm -hmm. a real estate investment. Um, we are with EXP and one of the reasons we went with EXP is because they have like Kaylee Lauren stock options and they have a residual program as far as continuing to earn money, you know, even though you're not selling houses and that is, you know, building like a team. And so uh -huh. it just depends upon what direction you want to take your real estate business, I would yeah. say. But definitely there are options, You, but it's not going to be built in naturally for you. Well, and that kind of leads, I've just been thinking about like our fifth point mm -hmm. And I think what a real estate career is exactly what people in education tell kids that you are helping out day to day is dream, like dream, dream big. big. Like, uh -huh. what do you, what do you want? And I feel like I was, um, when I worked at the school, it was great. It was fantastic for the time being. And I just hit kind of a wall as a mom mm -hmm. and I expected more, like I wanted more mm -hmm. and more from myself, more reward for the job that I was doing each day. And little did I know, like our first goal, we want to sell a house. We want to sell 13 houses this year. Now we want to sell 50 some houses. And now we're creating really a legacy for our entire families. And um, even though we're self-employed, we get to collaborate and work with people from all over the country mm -hmm. in real estate. It's just exciting. I think it's, I've always had the entrepreneurial spirit, but I love that the sky's the limit. The work yeah. you put in is what you're going to get out. And we have, you know, we have expanded um, my salary by like five. I mean, it's mm -hmm. as we've been in it for two years, but we've just put systems in place, you know, that allow us to keep um, growing our business. And it's just what we love to do. I think you can see that it is something that we enjoy doing on an everyday basis. And so 
for us, I don't even think it's work. I didn't really know I didn't love my job. I loved, I didn't mind going to school or to work, um, but I didn't know I didn't love, love, love my job I until I got into education or really until I got is... into real estate. And I'm like, I love this. Uh -huh. I love that I can, we're both like creative. We can like do, what What do we want to do today? What do we want to do today? Do we want to grow this? Do we yeah. want to rebrand this? Do we want to, and we can do whatever we want. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a wonderful thing about, you know, and, and so it's, it, there's pros and cons to becoming a real estate agent um, when you're in the education field. And the thing that gets me, you know, I, I talk about, you know, you get more work if you do well, but I feel like educators aren't paid what they should, but you, I taught abroad and educators were paid a lot of money and we were perceived as like a lawyer or doctor and had that prestige. And here, as much as we don't, I feel like we're good Samaritans in, in the world, <laughs> which I don't know, I get it. We, you know, sometimes we eat our hearts in it for the right reasons or the wrong reasons or wherever you're at. We have a good friend who's getting a divorce and he has two master's degrees. He's been in education for how many, for I think it's a a 22 time. years right now. And guess what? He has to go and live in a condo with his two kids because he can't afford a home and he's been mm -hmm. in education for so long and it does that part frustrates me i'm like no i do think someone who's been in it for that long should you know be more monetized as far as that goes yep well and i think a lot of times like if i'm thinking back to some of the conversations with our good friends that work at the school their um biggest fear i think is that time off they're used to their dedicated for time. sure i feel like i still have that freedom yeah we work a lot but it's on our own time like Lori said yesterday we were out and about showing homes and doing some things for a while and then we came back home and you put on your leggings and do computer work with your kids by your side and you know you it, it's a different kind of juggling but i feel like as um a mom anyway especially you're always juggling my husband does juggling as well and you know i think that now that he's seen the flexibility I think he wants to. I'm like, oh, we can't, oh, can't work with Steve together. <laughs> but I, mean, I love you very much. But no, I just think it's it's such a great career to get into. And um, you know, if you have any questions about it, give us a call um, 719-639-3393. We can answer any of your questions. We've done it firsthand. We know what it's like. I know there's fears. There's pros and cons to making that switch. So reach out or give us a call. Um, Kayleen and I would love to help.